discovered Dead Kennedys and, uh, and ACDC at the same time. Jimi Hendrix, it all comes back to him. And that song cured me from being car sick. That's kind of miraculous. I'm at the stage where I kind of know it's Mozart versus Beethoven. I kind of know those distinctions. I was listening to something called punk rock before I even knew such a thing existed. But what is, like, what kind of music is this? We don't really understand what, what we're hearing. I think it's a combination of the cover and that, that Taxman guitar solo, and it kind of, this is one of the first things that made me want to play guitar. <gasps> I love this band, oh my god. How are you not gonna devote yourself to music after that? Go ahead, next question. I'll take these two, Mrs. Bullet, and in my eyes, my threat. Someone's picking me up to go to college, and I'm blasting this in my bedroom, and I, I miss my ride. This record is uh, very important. And this is the actual album I bought. Look at it. Nice! <laughs> but musically, this record is by far my favorite KISS record. And it sounded pro, it didn't sound like a local band. And it was just amazing. Jesus, this, I, I got this when it first came out, this the record shit for everybody. And I was like, oh, this sucks, I got my money! <laughs> I think the first record I ever owned, that I got my own, I think I shoplifted Summertime Blues by The Who. Thank mm -hmm. you.